Hi, and welcome to Psychic Today. I'm your host, Jill Roberts. Today we're going to do a crystal of the day. And today's crystal of the day is Ahoite, also known as Aho Quartz. Now this is the stone we need right now. The key words for Ahoite is love, healing, emotional support, goddess, and angelic connections. The element is storm, and the chakras are the heart, which is the fourth, the throat, which is the fifth, the third eye, which is the sixth, the crown, which is the seventh, and the etheric chakras above the head. Now, oil is a blue or blue-green copper silicate mineral. It is named after a whole Arizona, where it was first identified. It's a rare mineral and is most frequently seen as an inclusion in quartz. So it'll be this very blue turquoise-like, usually in the termination of the quartz. So you have to look closely. It's not going to be a burst of blue-green color. It's going to be little slivers, veils inside the termination. Um, but they are just incredibly beautiful. And these plentiful Ahoyt specimens in quartz crystal points came from the Messina Copper Mine in South Africa. In addition to Ahoyt, some of these crystals contain hematite, limonite, and a papagoite. Another small discovery of Ahoyt in aggregated quartz was made in Zimbabwe. So both of these finds are exhausted and only a hoid in the marketplace comes from old stocks of two African discoveries. Occasionally a hoid forms within quartz in bright turquoise blue shapes that are said to look like angels. That's the kind of veils I was talking about. From some of these, feathery threads of pure copper emanate in patterns suggestive of wings. The angel wing ahoids are some of the most avidly sought specimens of all. Other unusual ahoids include a very few druzy crystallized pieces discovered around 1998 in Zimbabwe. From the same find came rich blue and blue-green ag agatized ahoid where the Messina quartz crystals mostly, mostly contain small spots of pure hoid. The uh, agatized quartz displayed much more color. Some of it was pure enough to be made into faceted gems, carbacons, beads, um, and some of the larger pieces were used to make exceptional ahoid spheres. Ahoid is an important metaphysical stone, and it's much sought after by crystal lovers. Its energies are emotionally soothing and healing, and many people report that Ahoyt connects them to the earth, heart of the earth itself. On some occasions, people break into tears at the first time they hold a piece of the stone. Ahoyt is believed to transmute negative energy into positive energy and to relieve unhappiness. It's a stone of the feminine empowerment and activates the throat chakra. So it helps with communication. It helps with opening up the third eye and the crown chakra. It helps connect the mind and the heart. And that's what we've been discussing here on Psychic Today, that a lot of these stones are connecting both the mind and the heart. And basically, it's opening up several chakras at once. So when we come back, I'm going to talk about uh, some of the things that Robert Simmons says about Ahoyt and Naisha Shan. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Now... I just did the intro to Ahoyt itself, but I like to follow some of my favorite crystal enthusiasts and crystal gurus out there, and one of them is Robert Simmons. 
and according to him, Ahoyt in quartz emanates one of the sweetest, most nurturing and loving energies of any stone in the mineral kingdom. It is a pure bearer of the vibrations of the earth mother, the feminine aspect of life force of our planet. Ahoyt can cleanse the heart of sorrow, wash negativity out of one's thoughts, and open the floodgates for the ocean of love to lift one to higher planes. It clears and activates the throat chakra, assisting one in communicating with one's deepest inner truth. It helps you connect with the goddess energies, both within yourself and throughout the natural world. Ahoyt's ahoyt can be very powerful tools. They can clear the auric field and align the light body with the physical. They can harmonize the energies of any chakra, disperse concentrated thought forms that are creating pain, dispel any amount of negativity, and call forth the truth from oneself and others. Do we need this stone today? It's been really difficult navigating this past year of COVID or whenever you're listening to this, Whatever is going on in your life negatively, whether it be the loss of a loved one or a job or a partnership or a friend or, or a lover or a divorce, it's just amazing how this stone can help bring you back to the center and kind of wash these things away. All of Ahoyt's work is accomplished in the most soft and loving manner. It is all but impossible to resist the gentle transformation it brings. And you shouldn't resist it. For changes engendered by Ahoyt are great blessings indeed. Ahoyt is a strengthener, healer, and harmonizer of your emotional body. Its sweet vibrations not only soothe us, they also draw out the poison of one's subconsciously held sorrows, fears, rage, and old wounds. Meditation with the Hoyt can bring both tears and laughter as feelings arise in what is often a deep yet gentle release of inner tensions. If the outcome is a movement towards joy, a happiness that needs no outer reason, there's something profoundly wholesome about a Hoyt's. They not only help us to release old grief and pain, but once this process has progressed, we are gifted with a sense of growing strength and confidence, a clear-minded sense of our own goodness and our ability to move forward on the spiritual path. Ahoyt reminds us of beauty, both inner and outer, and inspires us to bring more beauty into the world, which we all need to do right now, through all the things we say and do. Ahoyt can help one awaken the emotions of compassion and forgiveness, first for oneself and then for all beings. These emotions are key in healing of the many conflicts that exist on all levels of human life. In regard to the crystals containing Ahoyt angels, I maintain that all Ahoyt crystal, crystals, gems, tumblestones, spheres, and beads contain angels but that these specimens show their forms as a physical manifestation. It is indeed a delight to discover within the structure of the crystal, the feathery blue wings, the veils, and the sun purse patterns, which makes one immediately aware of the higher beings manifesting through these stones. They are quite beautiful and most desirable, but as I say again, on the energetic level, all Ahoyts, are the expression of what we would term angels and for this they deserve to be cherished and they are amazing stones to meditate with they are amazing stones for channeling they are amazing stones for just feeling better better about yourself better about the world better about our planet so definitely if you can get a hold of an ahoyt definitely do there are some that are mixed with chrysocolla or malachite um but any ahoyt in quartz is 
the best thing you can do for yourself right now. Invest in yourself. Invest in your time. Invest in your energy. Because that's the only way our vibrations are going to get higher and rise higher. So when I come back, I'm going to talk about uh, another one of the gurus, Naisha Shan, and what she has to say about the Hoyts. Welcome back to our Crystalline Exploration Series, and today we're discussing Ahoy. Now, according to Anisha Shan, she talks about how Ahoy emanates a strong female energy ally. It's an ally to call upon when you wish to develop receptivity, stillness, and surrender to the divine. Its color reminds one of the azure ocean and sky, lending a calming and cooling influence to inflamed emotions and inflammation in the body. Because of its blue color, one may be tempted to think of the stone as a predominantly a throat chakra stone, but its energies are powerful activators of many levels of the energetic bodies and the chakra column. While it's effective in opening the throat area, of course, its energies are better used to activate the channel of communication with the divine through the third eye, crown, and etheric chakras. Like I said before, it's an amazing stone to channel with. Ahoyt is one of the highest stones of angelic and divine communication that I have found, that Naisha Hashan has found, that Robert Simmons has found, and many, many other uh, crystalline explorers. Its frequencies assist you not only in opening to guidance from higher realms, but it also in the grounding of that guidance onto the earth plane through communicating or teaching. Simply receiving personal information or guidance from spirit is not the highest use of this stone. Instead, the transformation is that it's accessible through a hoist energy pattern. It's more of a macrocosmic nature pertaining to the evolution of humanity and the highest good of all. For this reason, it's an excellent stone for use by channels, spiritual teachers, or others who have the responsibility of effectively communicating spiritual information to groups of and humanity in general. I know that when I work with my guides and I channel for clients, you holding a piece of a hoit or keeping one nearby gets the information more accurately coming through and out through my throat chakra of communicating it to my client. So it is important for channels who want a little bit more grounding and clear communication to get out what's being said, whether it's through archangels or angels or spirit guides or a, collect, a conscious collective of guides. Like, I work with all of them, so it's important. Ahoyt is my go-to stone for this. It can also assist in calming an overactive thought process, settling the mind and allowing for more focus and concentration. So it can get the, the monkey mind, as some call it, the obsessive thoughts, the excessive thoughts to calm down a bit. And it can assist you in perceiving where self-limiting beliefs may be influencing your ability to manifest and create in the world. It is an excellent stone to employ when deeper understanding of karmic patterns is desired. Spiritually, Ahoyt assists in connecting with the divine guidance and information it's an excellent stone to use for communication with angelic entities 
or for the nurturing aspect of divine source. It can assist you in maintaining mental focus on no thing, meaning nothing, during meditation. And can assist you in releasing worries and fears in order to turn your attention more fully to the divine. Emotionally and on an emotional level, the effects of Ahoy are multifold. Its energy supports a sense of nurturance and emotional rescue. And at the same time, it stimulates the release and cleansing of emotional patterns or lessons. We're not talking about dark night of the soul here. So there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just pure, calm, beautiful energy. She can maybe hear it's raining here in New York City. And I find the rain soothing. And it's almost like that, listening to the rain just kind of wash over your body. Um, a Hoyt can engage inner vision and higher understanding as well as the emotional self. A Hoyt has a calming and uplifting effect on the emotional body. It can help those who are subject to extreme emotional polarities or who are prone to excessive anger or fear. And where does anger come from? It comes from fear. It helps you to gain perspective on situations that are emotionally charged and can help one to understand the underlying emotional basis for the experience. It's useful in gaining understanding of the karmic or alternate life roots of emotional patterns and experience. This enables you to perceive the spiritual basis of life lessons as it guides you to gently but firmly remove old emotional patterning. Now, physically, a Hoyt can be used to help alleviate one's mood when hormonal imbalance causes depression, excessive anger, or other emotional extremes. It is an effective stone to use when PMS or menopausal symptoms cause difficulties. It can help anyone, male or female, with issues of extreme anger or fear by assisting in maintaining a sense of center through emotional extremes. It assists iron-based iron stones, such as hematite, in strengthening the blood, and so it can be used as an adjunct stone in balancing issues of weak blood, such as anemia. Now, there's a great affirmation for a Hoyt, and I'm going to say it once, and then I'm going to do it slower, so you can write it down if you like it, but during meditation, if you have these stones, whichever stone I'm covering and I give an affirmation for, it's a great way to just lay down, hold the stone either in one of your hands, by your heart, or at your third eye, depending on what chakras the stone is good for. And I tend to hold it at my heart. Um... And if you say these affirmations, they will quiet the mind. They will quiet those thoughts until stuff starts to happen, whether you start to see things in the inner vision of your mind or hear things in your thoughts or you start to channel. It all will get you to a lower state where you're just affirming what's going on with the stone, which helps with the stone's energy. And also, it helps quiet those thoughts of your daily routine. I'm sorry, there's something going on outside here in the city and you're hearing beeping, but that has stopped. Okay, so the affirmation for Ahoyt is, I open my heart to love and speak its truth with oneness and compassion. As I am healed, I heal others. Again, I open my heart to love. I open my heart to love. And speak its truth with openness. And speak its truth with openness. And compassion. I open my heart to love. And speak its truth with openness and compassion. As I am healed, I 
heal others. This is important, people. We need to come together in unity. And I don't just mean politically. In every aspect of our lives. In the collective. It's the only way we're going to get through this. I open my heart to love and speak its truth with openness and compassion. As I am healed, I heal others. For me, I love to heal others. I love to help others. Especially when they're going through a tough time. And you get so much out of it. Whether it's through my channeling or my evidential mediumship. Or working with stones and doing grids for people. And, and doing distance healing. My clients come first. And people come first. For me. To help heal them. So they can go on to pay it forward and heal somebody else. Or say something to help somebody else's day become brighter and better. And that's what we're here for. We're, we put so many labels on things. And we're just humans. Humans here experiencing a three-dimensional reality on Gaia. And please, we must be better to one another. We must be better to ourselves. If we're not better to ourselves, we can't be better to others. And a Hoyt is definitely a stone that will help you be better to yourself. And that in itself is a blessing. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's Stone of the Day. Tune back in. We have a lot coming up within the next month. We're going to be, you know, doing other stones. I'm going to be interviewing different people. And we're going to have a great time. So don't forget, we're on this spiritual journey together. You're not alone. Take care. Sending all my love and light.